Hi, Peter Charles here, Hooked for Life Fly Fishing, and let's talk about fishing in very cold conditions. Now, personally, I normally fish for steelhead in cold conditions because our trout rivers are closed for the season, but I know in other jurisdictions you can fish for trout all through the winter. So this video is going to be using steelhead examples with two-handed rods and long lines, but the same, exactly the same thing applies to uh, trout fishing in smaller creeks in the middle of winter. You can do the same thing. And the whole idea of this presentation is to move your wet fly low and slow. As slow as you possibly can. So let's look at the techniques I use to get that fly moving very slowly in cold water. So fish whose metabolism is has been reduced because they're cold-blooded. The metabolic rate goes according to the temperature of the water. So they don't move as fast, they're not as aggressive, but they are surprisingly aggressive and fast in cold water. It's just not as fast as when temperatures are ideal for them. So let's get going and look at, uh, first off I'm going to give you an example of a spring day, but it was early in the spring and uh, things are going quite well. So let's get that started. Uh, it was a nice day. You can see uh, in this image, I don't have a jacket on. Uh, and the water temperature is ideal for steelhead. So I'm just going to make a single spay. And I'm going to drop it out there. And there's no mend. I just put that cast out there. No mending whatsoever. And uh, the, I just let it swing. I had a rage head with an intermediate polyliter, which is this beastie right here. So here's my rage head, intermediate polyliter. That's exactly what I was using. Uh, and it's more than adequate for those conditions. The flow rate wasn't particularly high. I had a fly with some weight that would get down on its own. So this was simple. It worked just fine. Here we're into early December. It's very cold, and I'm using this intermediate long belly line. This is a 75 foot head. So I have to roll it up first, and then I just do a double spay, I put it out there, take my time. It's a long line. And now I make a pullback mend, and I'll stop it right there. Now, the purpose of the pullback mend is to orient the fly line as close to parallel. Uh, to the current as you possibly can. Now I cast that at a relatively shallow angle, probably somewhere between 30 and 40 degrees, somewhere in that ballpark. I didn't cast it further upstream and that also helps to slow things down because the uh, fly line is at a relatively shallow angle to the current. And when you put a fly line at a shallow angle to the current, you reduce the effect of the current on that line. And one of the advantages for intermediate lines, intermediate long bellies in this case, is they run very straight under the water. So I've got pretty well a dead straight line to the fly. So I'm just dropping tension. And as I drop tension, I'm sinking that line. I'm also sinking the fly. But I'm also helping it to move as slow as possible. So as far as the fish are concerned, that fly is going back and pass them like this. So if there's a fish in that area, and I get a lot of hits in that particular area when I fish this particular pool, you that fly going backwards and dropping and going past them at the same time, so it's dropping and crossing, is an excellent presentation. It looks like something that's struggling to keep its position in the current. And I get a lot of wax at that particular point. Now, now the fly's, fly line is really slowed down it's coming across the current very, very slowly. I'm just pointing the, the rod right down the, uh, the line, right to the fly. It's a direct uh, route to the fly. This is not slowed down. This is the actual, this video is running at normal speeds. And you can see that how long it's taking before I finally start to strip line back in. And this is called giving the fly a soak. When it's cold, leave it there for a while. You know, don't be in a hurry to pick it up as, as, as it comes around. Let it completely straighten out. Let it sit there. And you might want to give it a couple little pulses if you want. And I did that. I gave it a couple little pulses. And then I started to strip it back. And even when I strip it back, I'm not in a hurry. I take my time stripping it back. That way, if there's a fish following it, they, they have a chance of giving it a crack. Odds of hooking a steelhead on the dangle are not high, but I have hooked some. 
So that's what it looks like uh, with a long belly intermediate. And I'm just going to roll it back up, back into the double spay. And then again, the pullback mend. And you can see I'm running that and then dropping tension. And that dropping of tension sinks the line, sinks the fly, slows everything down. And then, so I'm slowing it down, tracking down with the current and going across. And then once I've tightened up to the line, I'm more angled downstream. I'm almost parallel to the current and it comes across very slowly. So it's a combination of that shallow angle cast, the pullback mend, and the dropping of tension that does the job. Now in this case I'm going to use the rage head, and what I'm going to do here is show that you can still make these pullback mends with a long cast when using the shooting head style line. So I'm just stripping line back in and you get a chance to see how much running line there is on the water. And off it goes. Now again, big pullback mend, even with the shooting head bring the line under tension, and then just let it swing around. Again, I'm following it with the rod tip. This is also late uh, November as well. And I'm just following that. I've already taken one fish out of this pool, by the way, earlier on in this video. And I'm just let it come around very, very slowly. And I don't know if we'll be able to see it in this video because I had to crop it a little bit to straighten it up. I'll stop it right there. But if we could see it right in this area, um, there's the 50 foot marker on the running line. That's how much running line I'm moving and I'm still able to mend the head. So don't let this idea of using a shooting head bother you. You can mend with the running line, with the pullback mend and straighten it all the way out to the polyleader, which is what I did here. So again, I just let this come round. Once the rod is straight down the line and I've got full tension on it now, I've got the the uh, line is at a very shallow angle to the current and it's moving very slowly. So the first half is the dropping of tension which makes it move slowly. The second half of this is when I am letting the fly swing in uh, with a very shallow angle to the current. So it's basically the fly is moving slowly in both phases. So that's basically what I do to slow a fly down. Pull back men, drop tension uh, on, with a shallow angled cast and just let it come across very, very slowly. First by controlling tension and secondly by keeping that angle as close to parallel to the current as I can get away with. And then I let it soak on the dangle. So if you're, whether you're after resident trout or steelhead in cold weather, this is the way you swing your wet flies to reduce the speed as much as possible. Get that fly as low as you can without dragging the bottom, obviously, and just let it come across in front of them ever so slowly. And it works. I get a lot of fish out of these uh, types of situations over the years. I, I love fishing in December. I usually have the river to myself, and there's always fish there. So give it a try. Cheers.